safe to say one of the most popular golf courses in the Bay Area. Tilden Park, here is a very poorly illustrated vlog. They're redoing the clubhouse and the driving range, so everyone plays from the red tees. Hole number one is a hole of myth. It's 400 yards from the shortest point, all uphill with a Beth Page Black uh, green that's raised up high, forcing a blind shot. Oh, and if you don't like side hill lies, Tilden will be difficult because everything you get is a side hill lie. I came up a little bit short, accidentally hit slow-mo, you get the super sick. Watch how my wrist engages in this chip like a super novice. Love to see it. Hit a shout out to there, bogeyed the first hole. I'd say if you can play the first two holes at plus one, you're doing pretty good. This is a hard hole to explain, but it's basically a hard left, dog leg left, and it's really about position. Tilden, not unlike some of the other courses you're going to see come in the coming weeks. If you miss, you basically lose a golf ball. It's kind of like teal bend in that way. It's just a lot shorter. That was such a money little chip. That was just a feel shot, and then that was conceded for par. Feel good. Hole three is arguably like one of the funnest holes because you could realistically drive the green on this hole, but at the same time, any miss right or left will put you basically out of play and have to take a penalty stroke hit a three wood hit the cart path and then i hadn't played in this course in a while played out to the right and then i kind of thought it would break the other way so i thought that it would run off the side hill and come down still left myself an uphill putt and i just kind of pushed it or pulled it uh fourth hole i feel like a lot of people really enjoy this hole this hole is kind of a standard hole for me it's solid but i wouldn't say it's like the most memorable hole to me but it's a forced carry to an uphill green it's typically about a wedge maybe for some players it's a nine iron eight iron but it's about a 130 shot and it's very precise that was conceded for a par now is when you start to get what tilden's about so this is a position hole on this day playing from the whites you're just laying back to give yourself a good number and if you have trouble getting the ball in the air this course will be extremely penalizing so it's about are you able to control yardages, play to certain spots, and then hit to another spot. That is the Tilden Park golf experience. Hit a good approach shot in there, and then you're going to see basically all that junk around the green. You can't miss on approach. Thought I made it, missed it. This is another hole, hole six, that people love because it's a very drivable par four. I pulled it out left. And I thought I'd be safe, but what you should know about this, water out right, and then if you miss that way, there's a tree with a bunker. We got it up here, playing a little best ball, and almost went in, just couldn't roll the rock on this day and make the long putts, which that deviates the score. This one, I was in my head. I'm really making this mistake when I try to do half shots, and I think I need to rotate better. Put it into the penalty area, flew the green. Love to see this triple bogey. That hole is just really hard. Leave a comment if you've ever done that. Terrible drive on this hole. All the par fives here are extremely gettable. And I've got to really figure out what I'm doing with my wood and hybrid because it's absolutely trash. From position A to position terrible. Look at that hand-eye coordination. That shot was really, really good because I had to hit a shot with spin over a bunker and keep it low and i don't think i could do much better than what i did and then i ended up three putting which was like the ultimate gut punch because it and that was such a cutty putt what a bummer nine's another cool hole kind of in that beth page black school of architecture design you're just playing a dog leg left and then it's kind of infuriating because you're playing a wedge into a completely blind green and basically the hope is that you play the right number. I just flew it a little bit, got a buried lie, and ended up with a bogey. And I just hate when that happens. This one, I watched a group play through. 10 is probably like most people's favorite tee shot. Everyone in the group that played through went straight left. So I'm like, I'm going to be smart. I'm going to play out to the right, hit a straight ball. It never came back left. Played a good approach through the trees, and then hit a nice spinny chip that was like right next to the pin. Got it conceded. Probably the hardest par 3 on the course is 11. This was a hybrid for me. And you're not going to see the shot, but I flew it onto the green. I flew it a little past hole high. I believe we gunned it about 203, 205. 
and that's kind of what it was per se. So probably went about 215. Haven't been loving the way I've been hitting my hybrids, but I hit that one well. And then at this course on this particular day, the greens weren't fast. They can play really fast, so there's no rhyme or reason to that. But when you get above the hole, you have to be very uh, thorough with how you putt the ball. Once again, target golf, 7-iron to a gap wedge. This is one of the hardest holes because most people will probably try to drive the green or play a club that they shouldn't. Scaped with a par, nothing sexy about it. Look at how that tee flew. You love to see that. That was a great strike. You can also see how the wind was. Hit a tree, came back in play, and uh, just awful golf. Made a par five that's really short into a par a million. And that was just a terrible wristy chip. Ended up with a bogey or double bogey. I forget. This is the worst hole of the day. This is probably everyone novice's favorite hole where it's just a short par four. Just popped up a... a three wood and then hit a great seven wood or seven iron out of the rough thought i got away with a birdie we'll take the par got out of jail that's why you always want to play your first ball so you can have experiences like that and not play fake golf this was a great experience one of my playing partners drove it over the green i'm not nearly as long as him it's about 303 to the front there's definitely a lot of downhill that helps you i got it to the front here and if you look at my feet the ball goes right to where my feet are lined up, and it was just a really bad chip. I started it way too far right because I thought it was a Donald Ross tabletop like green. You're going to definitely want to play the contours of green. Left with a par, kind of disappointing from that tee shot. Definitely a harder par three right here. Another mid-lengther. It's about 185-ish on this given day. Lots of bunkers in the front. Death to the behind the hole some room in the left but that also opens up hitting the group behind caught it thin to win ran to the back of the green and not too bummed out with this this is a very hard hole so like if you leave this hole with a par which is what you're going to see right here here's the par you're not going to be mad because it's like this is a very difficult hole 17 once again this is another one of these really really hard holes Struck that really well, hit a tree once again, had the five iron. That was beautiful. Really, really tight fairways. Iron play is getting stronger. Thought I made this and it just dipped off. It kind of has that Lake Chabot extra turn to these greens. They're kind of skiddy, so that's something you should notice. This one on this final hole, we just played best ball in on my buddy's ball. Totally did that awful thing where I tug on a wedge. Got to get better at that. Gave myself a really awful number here. And almost converted for the, like, the fake birdie. Good round. Thank you for watching this vlog. I appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video. This is a passion project, and I'm just trying to do the best I can.